Are we back? Are we here? Are we streaming? Are we good? I can't even tell. I just got a notification we're live. I've got some pings going. Got some connection. I've got a pretty high bit right now. Chat. Chat. Bueller. Can I get music? Hit with the old refresh. Functions described. Oh, I, I heard a. every time. Chat, are we here? Bueller. So back that I got pre-rolled on mobile. My own mod doesn't sub. He hates me. Uh, we might be dead again. Are we dead again? Uh oh. Are we dead? Are we alive? Why can't I ping? Okay. Is the lag better? My drop frames are now down to 1%. <laughs> Before I reset my internet, my drop frames were at 67%. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Way better? Okay, cool. Sorry about, uh... Sorry about that, chat. Apparently there's an ad break coming in five minutes. I'm trying to snooze it. I don't know what I'm doing. It's chaos this morning. Bear with me. Sometime in the new year, I'm building a new PC and we're going to switch to streaming off of that rather than my work MacBook so we don't have to worry about uh, tail scale and VPNs and all that garbage anymore. Okay, let's jump back in. We know the problem. We got that. Um, thank you all for sticking with me. I appreciate you. Um, right, we wanted to go look at this. We want to copy these dev scripts now in our enrichment. Every time. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the sub, Kosnia. Appreciate it so much. Functions describe the world. Super, super appreciate the Prime sub. All right, so we got bundle, dev, build, we need bundle. So let's add bundle here. And we're gonna say string map. And then we're gonna say dot add, and it'll be bundle. And it'll be uh, v build. Bundle serve, so let's just change this to serve so it goes in order. Are we dead again? Chat, are we good? I can't tell if we're good. Oh God, my OBS is freaking out. What? Okay. Okay. From my end, it feels like things are not loading. All right, um, so we added that. Our enrichments should be good. Or right, let's go back to Vite. And it's going to be bundle serve dev. So this will be dev and this will be V. This will just be V. We're going to have to point it.
we're gonna have to um, what are we gonna have to do here Okay, now I'm disconnected from chat. What is happening? We are having serious technical difficulties. Alright, I've got chat up on my phone. Kyle, can you try saying something? Like, stream is still good. I can't, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like if I refresh, I can't get anywhere. This is wild. Technical difficulties to an extreme level. All right, hold on. There we go, I got internet back. Okay, I think I'm good. My VPN just connected, so hopefully our frames stay, our drop frames stay low, our bitrate looks good, I have internet, we can work, okay. Jesus, what a adventure. And let's just say let dependencies equals string map dot empty. <laughs> this morning has been a cycle. If it's so over, we're so back. Facts. I'm sorry for gaslighting you, chat. All right, let's add in our dependencies. So one thing that's interesting is we want our enrichments to have the ability to copy more templates, template files, right? Because like if we add Vite, Vite is gonna need to copy a Vite config file right so we're gonna want let's go back to our plugin or right, we can stay here and we want this exact thing right so we're gonna want to go to like our templates and we want like extensions and that will be a directory we'll write that go in there and we'll say vite write that and then in here we'll say um vite.config.js and we'll write that and we'll go in there and we'll copy this file paste that in so maybe we need to spend some more time thinking about how our templates and extensions work because like what the things that we need to be able to do Let's go to an empty buffer and um, let's just start writing and brainstorming in this. So what do we need to do? What do our templates slash extensions need to do? Off the gate, we need to step one, right? Let's just say templating system. Step one is going to be um, copy the base directory. This will have uh, our required 
files, directories, and templates. And then we need to parse our config to determine if we need any extensions. So let's say, let's just, let's make another section, let's say language, right? And we'll say um, a template is going to be um, a handlebars template that values can be provided to Uh, maybe we don't need that. Parse our config if we need to determine if we need any extensions. Um, extensions can what can an extension do? Extensions can modify existing templates. Uh, what else can extensions do? Extensions can copy new files, directories, or templates from templates functions describe the world from templates slash extensions slash extension name. So do we, do we think it's worthwhile? Uh, should an extension be both of these things or should they be different? Like is, I think it should be, I think it should be both of these things, right? Because it wouldn't make sense, like, let's take the case of V, right? So we hit our app and we, um, we hit, we run our app, we say we're gonna pick V. We copy over our normal templates, we fill, we fill them out, and then we load our Vite extension. The Vite extension is going to modify our package JSON, and it's gonna copy over this Vite config file. Um, and if an extension couldn't do both of these things, we would, we would have to write two different things for Vite. Yeah. Okay. So we almost need to like invert the relationship between extensions and templates. What would that look like? So we would want something like, oh God, I'm getting blinded. I need to get like actual like dark blinds in here so I don't get hit with the sun every morning. About that time to stand up because of the sun. Okay, so hey, can you add README in your OCaml playlist transfer repo? Uh, yes. Um, we're going to come back to the OCaml playlist tool after we release um, an MVP version of what we're working on now. And that's going to include writing documentation 
It's going to include publishing our Apple and Spotify SDKs to OPAM. And we're also going to work on bundling it for um, package managers. Um, so you can install it on like with Homebrew or with Pacman on Arch, things like that. So um, yeah, once we get through our MVP of Creep and Launch app, we're going to go and knock out a big milestone on our OCaml playlist transfer tool. So what would this look like? Let's say we have module V, right? And it's gonna be equals struct end. And in here we'll have a... Functions describe the Maybe we world. describe the interface of an extension first. Extension. And we'll say module um, config equals struct end. And in here we'll have Let's just say boom, boom, boom. That'll be OCaml. Paste that here. And in here we'll have like type T. We should just write this in real code. We need to come up with a better, um, a better model for our, our extensions. So let's just make like a, another file and let's just call it like a brainstorming.ml. Write that. Let's jump in here and let's say we have, um, let's say we have a, whoops. Sounds exciting. Awesome. Well, hopefully, uh, well, thank you for the follow, by the way. And yeah, stick around because, uh, We'll get there. Module, um, so this is gonna be an extension. Go struct end. And then to configure a, an extension, let's say we have this module config, go struct end. And then in here we'll say module type s equals struct end. So maybe we do go end up going with like a functor to make an extension. So what does an extension need? An extension needs, actually before we define our config, let's describe what an extension actually looks like. So we'll say module type S, which stands for signature. Uh, let's give ourselves some room. An extension will have a name. So let's say val name is a string and it needs to, let's just say we have like a val run and this will turn return a uh, unit string result. What else can an extension do? This actually shouldn't take, when we run it, it's gonna need some information, right? We almost need like a, a, a context, right? So maybe we have like a template context. And then we have like on our context, we would have like, we would have like templates and maybe this would be a, let's say we have a template type. Let's keep planning this out. I like, I like kind of working backwards here. So let's say we have another module template. This will be struct end and this will be a type T. Uh, that will also have a name. Let's just say, well, let's just give this a type T for now. Just a brainstorm. Comment that back out. So we'll have templates and let's make a uh, let string map module string map equals 
uh, map.makeString. Yep. This will be a, yeah. So this is saying, um, templates by name. Yeah, template name to template, not parsed. What else needs to be on the context? What's wrong with my... Brainstorming.ml. Why am I not getting diagnostics? And the file we were just in was brainstorming? There we go, that was weird. This will be a template name to template T. In fact, we can no, that's fine for now. Let's not overcomplicate it. Um, we should be able to say like find template opt and um, this will be a template name and we'll get uh, context. Yeah. Perfect. And then let update template let's just say set template we get our template let's make that name and then say set template name name um, template context oh right because we don't have anything else on the context sure okay All right, now we at least have a structure we can pass around. We're just gonna pass this template around. So this template T, we have an extension. The extension is gonna get a um, context, which will be a template context. In fact, we don't even need to say that's a template context. We just cannot name that context because it's already gonna be context.t. and a template we're almost grabbing like the same exact like templates and extensions at this point are effectively the same thing aren't they So no, 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 no. So a template can, um, yeah, right, okay. So let's write a, um, a type signature for a template. So module type S, this will be our signature of what a template has to implement. It needs a name, uh, it needs a type T, it needs to compile, right? Um, 
I forget what the let's v split and go to template.ml compile. What's the type signature? It takes a T, a unit, a string result. Okay. So it can compile itself. So this needs to be after context T. These might have to be mutually recursive at some point, but that's okay. Yeah, it's going to have to be mutually recursive. Son of a bitch. Or maybe it doesn't. Am I crazy here? It actually doesn't need to be mutually. Unit, and that's gonna return a T. It's gonna take a unit result. And then we'll say include S. Yeah. Oh, well, frack off. How do I do this? I don't think that's how that works. Because we'll want like a we trying to say we want s to be probably a functor too let's think about this <laughs> yeah okay hold on so we're gonna want like a module uh, module config and then to make a template it's going to need a type T and it's going to need a name which will be a string and it's going to need a to JSON right um, and that's going to take a T to a js dot json dot t or what's that do over here this is yeah that's what we want okay beautiful what else does our compile need I guess it might need a directory right we'll say um, let's say this has a let root Eagle templates. Yeah, okay. And this will have a the config will have let dir val dir. And then we can say we have another module for our functor. Let make, and we're gonna get some module that implements config.s, and we are going to return a module that is of type s. So we'll say uh, type t equals m.t, and we'll say uh, with um, s with type t equals m.t, and then we say let name equals m dot name let I guess this can have a dir on it too val dir is string 
and uh, so we can add dir, and we'll say um, node. No, we'll just say m dot dir. And now it needs a compile. So we'll say let compile is going to take a t, and it's going to return. This is going to come together nicely, chat. Just hodl for a second. That's going to be that. And we'll say m.2json t. This will actually, let's just call this template, right? This is our template. Yank in Word, uh, view and Word paste. Right? That should be fine. And then we say fs.read templates. We pass in template.name and we'll say m.name. In fact, we might not even need these. And then we compile, we get that. This will be change in Word, template dot name or actually this will be change end this will be um, m dot dir and this will be m dot name this will be m dot dir m dot name All right, what did we do wrong here? Let's um, delete this part. Unused variable. Oh, we need to open, right, we need to open this. This is coming together, chat. I like where this is going. I like where this is going a lot, actually. Let's comment these out quick. We'll come back to making those functors then. So we have this template. In fact, I don't even think we need dir and name anymore. We just need a way to turn it into, oh, we do need dir and name, but we don't need dir and name here. We just need to compile. Yeah, that looks good. So then we can make templates really effectively, right? Um, let's say we also get a, um, we'll say this gets a get, or we'll say val rooter is a, string, and then we'll just say, um, We'll say rooter. Let rooter equals not m dot rooter because that doesn't have that doesn't go there. That goes here. In fact, no. We I don't even think we need rooters. Let's forget about that. Dir name. We don't need these. I'm going to throw my mug on the charger quick chat. Uh, let me sit this over here out of the way. All right, let's dive back in here. So now, if you want to see how a functor works, chat, this is one of like the coolest features of, um, it's one, one of the coolest features of OCaml. Check this out. We can say module package JSON, and we'll say um, it's going to equals template dot make, and we're going to pass in a, another, um, 
we're going to pass in a thing here, a uh, anonymous module, and it has to implement this config s. So we can literally just come over here and we can grab uh, this. That's our type t, right? Yo, what the hell, Copilot? Did you just do? Everyone seeing this? Ah! What in the world? Copilot just like ate my lunch. Look at this. What? We're just gonna right quit, get out of that. Copilot really said, uh, F off, buddy. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's just say uh, module package JSON config, and this is gonna implement a template.config.s, right? That's how we say a, this will be package JSON dot temple. Uh, the directory will be, um, this will be in template just dot router. So let's come back up here. Let's add that router back because I think that's actually genuinely kind of useful, right? Come down here, template dot router. And then let's v split and let's go back to here and we're gonna grab this type T, yoink, paste that in there. And to JSON, we're just gonna go copy that. Yoink. Right, so now we have this um, configuration struct that implements this, right? So this is the configuration a module needs to actually make a template module. So then we can come in here and let's delete to there and delete to the equal sign. And now we can say, we can wrap this in parens because it's gonna be an argument. Functors are just um, functions that take modules as arguments, essentially. Um, we can say template.make, pass that in. This functor is type m to template config.s, type t equals m.t, right? Um, this parameter cannot be eliminated in the result type. Please bind arguments to a module identifier. Okay, that's fine. I know what this means. These have to be functions. So this will be a unit to string. This will be unit to string. I think, and we'll just say let dir m dot dir, and we'll say name, and we can come down here, delete end, uh, xx. And then this will be sex. I assume that would have worked. Ah, right, these need to be turned into functions. I think we have to add that like with type T thing that I was going for. Um, it's like, this is gonna return an S. Um, let's comment this out again. In fact, let's try making this not a function again. See if we can get, get away with that because I would prefer it not to be. So we return an S. Um, let's just go back in here what we did. So what's this saying we're not doing? What is the type of this? This turns a T, ah. There we go. That fixes that. Now let's try this again. Uncomment that. And these are no longer functions. There we go. Check that out, chat. We've got a functor working. 
So now we the output of our template make this package JSON, all this stuff is hit away hidden away from consumers and we can just be like let underscore equals uh, package.json and we can like say compile. That's sick. Um, we also probably want like an empty function. Um, we'll say empty and it will be a T. Yeah, we'll come down here and um, val empty and this will have empty equals m dot empty and then down here we have to provide an empty so we'll say let empty equals uh yep bada bing bada boom check that out chat now our we should be able to get a empty package json um We'll just say package equals uh, package JSON that empty. Yeah. All right, that's feeling pretty good. Let's minimize this functor here, and let's work again on our um, yeah. So we need. I want to be able to reference this S. Can I do that? I want to be able to say this can take any template. Maybe we can't do this. Is this where I need to use first class modules? Where it would be like, um, I basically want to say that it can operate on any any template type. All right, this is where Chat is going to come in. Or if anyone in chat knows a camel, I could use a backseat driver right now. Um, suppose. I have these modules and functors in OCaml. Let's say I have a another module like we'll grab our context. How can I generically accept slash use any module type spit out created by our template dot make functor? This might be my like grub brain. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I thought. We were gonna have to use a first class function or first class module. So we come in here and uh, it looks like we say change and we'll just say module template dot s dot t. Or is it just s?
I mean, that feels pretty good, right, chat? That's pretty freaking cool, right? That's like, that's really cool. So let's see if we can actually get this to work then. Let's say we come in here and we say, we have like our little main function. Uh, we need to make an empty context. So let's just say like um, empty, right? And we'll come in here and we'll say let context equals context.empty in, um, let's um, change this to add template. And then we'll say, um, let's make our package JSON, I guess. Let uh, package equals package JSON that empty. And then theoretically, we should be able to do this. This expression has package JSON.t, but an expression was, oh. Oh, so I think we would have to do package json is that how we do that add template and then it takes the context that's still not right uh well maybe it is uh maybe i need the module keyword module yeah that's how we do that Okay, I have one more question for ChatGPT. That, awesome, that worked. Let's praise ChatGPT a little bit. Boost its, boost its ego. That enables this API. But I'm wondering, could we update our code such that we could do the following. Actually, we want to come here and delete this. And then here, we'll change around that. And that's what we want to send it chat jippity. To achieve the ability to directly use the value of type package JSON T as a template without wrapping it in a module, you can modify context and add add template. Oh, we're setting the compile function. That's an interesting approach. ChatGPT is being utilized. You know what? I actually kind of like the first class modules. Let's let's rock with that for a second. So we have this template here, right? Uh, let's rename this like register template. Register template. Right, so we have our package JSON, and then let's pretend we have a uh, module Dune project, right? That's like the next template we know for sure we have. And we'll say struct end, and that needs to implement the same interface as this. So it needs a T, an empty, a dir, a name, and a two JSON. So we can probably copy a bunch of what we did here. Um, Dune project. So let's copy this. Yoink that. Actually, let's just yoink the entire module. Uh, yoink. 
and we'll paste that there. And this, let's say, it implements template.config.s. Yep, and let's see what it's upset about now. It's missing dir, that's okay. So say let dir, that'll be in our template root directory. We don't need a make, we don't need a set name. We don't need to compile in this anymore, I don't think. Right? All right, so that implements our And now we can come in here and we can make this template.make. And we pass this to our functor. This is so cool. This is what makes functors awesome. So now we have a Doom project template and we can be like, um, we don't need that. And yeah, this is unused, it's fine. I don't care. And we'll come in here and Actually, something that we can chain here. Chat, this is gonna be super cool, check this out. We'll come in here and we'll say, um, delete that, delete to C, delete word, and we'll pipe that there, delete that there, delete that, and we can say, we can register another template. We'll say context.register template, and it'll be doom project, and we pass that in. Tell me that's not freaking sick. And then we're gonna want like a let register extension, right? It'll be a name and um, let's take a context and let's just return the context for now. Yeah, this is, this is turning out super sweet, Angel. This is like, this is turning out pretty freaking cool. So let's write our extension now. So what does an extension do? An extension needs to be able to um, extend a template and it needs to also be able to it needs to, we wrote this out. Where's that word document? Oh, we probably lost it. An extension can do two things it can extend existing templates or it can copy and compile new templates, right? Yeah. So let's write that down before I forget it and I have to have the same conversation with myself and you guys again for like the fifth time this morning. A extension can do two things. Register a template, register a new template, or extend an existing template, right? And this would be like, e.g., um, copy a copy and copy a new template file to the project. And this would be an example of this would be add dependencies to package JSON, right? Let's close this side and full screen. I'm so stoked about this API. I think this is freaking sweet right here. This is so cool. So when we configure a um, when we configure a extension,
Hold on. Let's go look at our other functor. We can minimize these. We don't need to look at our existing ones. We don't need to look at make yet. We want to look at these, yeah. Let's look at these definitions here. So when we configure an extension, what do we need to know? We need to know, we need it, it has to have a name for sure. So have a, it'll have a type T and it'll have a, let's um, say val name, I'll be a string. Um, what else do we need to know? We need to know, we need to give it a way to register a new template. So maybe it has like a val template and this will be like a, um, This will be like a first class module again. This will be module template.s, but it will be an option, right? So if we want to modify a template, or no, if it is a template, it'll have a sum value there, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then we need a way to extend um, another template. And how do we do that? So let's concretize this a little bit. And let's say we have our, um, this will be like our V extension. Right, and let's just pretend, um, let's call this our config. And this is gonna implement this interface right here. And we'll come in here and we'll say this has a type T. Um, and I don't think it really needs, oh, we could do, we could put that on the type T, right? We could be like, um, I'm not the best at thinking, this isn't like, um, thinking in modules isn't, uh, isn't instinctual to me yet. So we'll say this will be let name equals just V, right? And then um, let's say we do wanna give it a template, right? So let's say in here we'll have like the template and this will be a uh, template dot make. Well, let's just do struct end first, struct end. Or actually our V file is not a template, right? It's just like it copies files. Register new template extension uh, it can copy files. So then let's say we also have this a value and, um, Let's just say our value will be an A. So this will be our configuration file. And we can say this is, um, 
let's change this to make and this will be our value and then we'll get value register template and that will be uh, context with yeah okay so be make and uh, we'll just say that empty string string context and then when we have this run function let's say we have a um, Maybe we don't even want to run. Let's, yeah, we can put it in here eventually, but let's say we just have this run function that takes nothing. And we will say, we'll say uh, let templates equals context.templates. And these are modules, right? Yeah. Let's just say uh, list dot iter to start, and we'll say um, we'll just do fun dot id, and then we'll say context not extensions templates. I'm very much uh, the kind of person that needs to like <clears throat> play with APIs as I make them rather than plan them out perfectly on the first try. And what's nice is we already made this once, so we know where like some of our pain points are. So that's like helping me inform myself of like where I want to go here. And this is going to be a um, string map dot to list. We can say at at here context. This is a um, a t. Can I even do that? Oh, wait. Right, this needs to take a context. Lol. Oh, right. Uh, change to D. Change to D's notes. Fun. Ignore that. It returns a unit. So when we run. What we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to compile a template. So let's say um, let compile template. And this is going to take a um, this is going to take a template and it will be this is a first class module, right? So we'll say this is module. Um, how did we define that before in our make? A module, I think we need an extra set of friends. This will be template.s. And then in here, we can say um, template.compile. Wait, what? Is that right? Is that how we do this? How do we take a, how do we take a, uh, okay, so we did register template. It just figured out that that's a module. Okay, I guess that's fine. Okay, that seems to work. And let's say our templates, what can they do? It can compile, right? What does this do? Does that work? What the? That syntax is confusing.
All right, so let's pretend we don't have extensions yet. When we get a compile, let's pretend this module right here is our package JSON, right? What do we have to do? What up, Saint Rabbit? We have to. essentially create an empty version of it. Let's call this make rather than empty. Or maybe we need, hmm. Uh, goodness gracious. So what can we do here? We can say like let uh, template equals template.empty, right? That works. And this would be our package JSON. And we need our context, right? So let's just say we get our context. Uh, let's pass our template in there. Um, and then we say, let template compile. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that actually works. That's kind of sick. That's super sick, actually. So let's actually get rid of the tilde here. And we can say, let's make this first context. Uh, actually, no, we do want template. No, context. Delete to equal, and in here we can say, we could just be like compile template context. What's this upset about? So expression has type module template s to unit string result, but an expression was expected of to unit. What? Oh, 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 because we want to discard the, like, we don't care for now. I mean, we do. Yeah, so that doesn't want to be list that editor. So let's actually make a module to uh, concretize our templates. So let's say like let get, um, let uh, concretize. No, maybe we can keep it like this. It's fine. All right, I have an idea of what we wanna do now. So um, we have templates and then we have a map. We'll have extensions, right? If you guys haven't heard this artist before, he's incredible. His name is Ren. Very, very good. Concretize and ties, what a word. Concretize is like, give an actual implementation to an interface. Um, so we'll say extensions, and our extensions are going to be, we'll have a name yeah, I like that. We need to put our extension above. It's gonna be a mutually recursive. Let's, um, let's not make this a recursive module yet. Let's just, All right, what's wrong with this now? Module extension S. All right, we just have to move our extension module above there. So let's jump that up here. Okay, that should fix a bunch of our issues. Yep. So then we have um, make, and this will be extensions. Yep. In fact, we can say value, whoops. 
and we'll say, um, actually that'll be value, and we'll say templates, and then we'll say extensions. And let's give this a default value. We'll say this is string, uh, string map.empty. And we'll do the same thing here. And that will be a string map.empty. And then we can come down here and delete to there. Find equal, delete to there. All right. Thank you for the follow, Fit Rider. I missed a couple other people. Um, I must have been taking care of when. Hey, Big Neil, if you're still around, thank you for Bunches hanging out this morning and the tend the kind. Also, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate each and every one of you that follow me and spend your time with me. Um, this has honestly been the best experience ever starting Twitch streaming. Thank you for the follow, Rand MC. Appreciate you. All right, so now we can make um, yeah, go for it, Alcaeus. We're gonna um, I'm gonna think about how we can clean it up, but yeah, feel free to redeem. They're your points. It's your opportunity. I appreciate the kind words, Cyprian. Yeah, maybe I'll turn off the, the noise for um, redeeming the Keychron. All right, so we can register a template now. And then in our uh, extensions, we need to away we need to associate um, an extension with templates. So like, let's say um, we have like this thing, like associated templates. That's kind of what we want. It'll be a, maybe it'll be a module um, template dot s string map dot t. What? We should have a string map in. Oh, uh, whoops. Let's do this. Just to like kind of keep working through this idea. We'll say um, we have this. What up, Brond? What up, Nightshade? This will, let's replace this. <clears throat> Delete that. All right, so we have this type T. Uh, jump to here, template. All right, so we have associated templates, right? And we can, that's not even so much a string map, right? What would be a word for, that's a typo too, but like I need a word for a list or a set of um, templates that this extension is going to extend. 
extended templates, extendable templates, templates to extend. Because like, oh man, this is tricky, right? So a extension can have, can be a template. And then it can be, it can also have uh, extendable templates, maybe. Extendable templates will be like, um, something like that template extensions no uh, what up fresh mental welcome to chat and stream we are working on a command line tool which bootstraps um, you can see me walking through it here it's called create Milan Jap it is a CLI written in OCaml and React and compiled to JavaScript, and it's to help actually make Melange apps. So um, it basically walks through, helps you set up options, and then uh, spits out a, a project for you. And right now we're working on our templating system. The project management software used started a discussion about wanting to collect emails in the setup for self-hosted instances. What, uh, what project management software do you use? I like Linear a lot. So an extension can have a template and it can also extend <laughs> templates to extend. Sure, I don't even care. That looks fine to me. Let's be explicit. Templates to extend, and then we have um, just this run function. I think that's reasonable. So assuming that's the case, right? Templates to extend. I don't even know if this needs a template anymore. So. Our config just needs a name. It needs a template. So let's say we have let template equals sum, and we'll say module, let's say a uh, vite template. Let's just pretend there is a template, right? Um, and let's make sure this, uh, extends template dot config dot s okay that's good so we should be able to delete to equal now and this is going to be uh, template dot make right yep so we have a v template now and then we can say sum v template Right, because that's a module. Some module. The signature for this 
template could not be inferred? Why? Can we do this? Uh, it's dwellings, gold leaf by dwellings. What does React do for your CLI, or are you just setting up a React for, for the through the CLI? Great question, hi Pizza Wizard. Um, I'm using a library called Ink, which lets they wrote a custom renderer, which compiles, um, which lets you render React components to the CLI. So this is the library we're using. Oh, Rond already got you. Thanks, Ron. So what am I doing wrong here? Uh, I'm going to just ask ChatGPT to fix this. Um, let's come down here and say, well, let's implement the rest of this, right? So. Let templates to extend the string map empty. And then we, do we say val? What was that code earlier? Val template is a template.s. How do I concretize that? How do I actually implement that? Let's say uh, module v template config. And then in here, We'll say v template config, and this is going to implement template.config.s. The signature for this package module couldn't be inferred. That's a new one. So we're just going to yoink. Uh, the playlist is just my Apple Music radio for songs I like. This is Raised by Wolves, Falling in Reverse. Once we go back to our um, playlist transfer tool, I'll write a little Twitch integration that uh, will use the Apple Music API with all the code we've already written. Uh, what do we want to do here? Uh, we don't need these. Let's move these down to the bottom. Throw these here and we'll jump up here. We don't need a context anymore and we want to go up and we want to grab all this to give the chat chippity. Help me fix this error. Fix an error with this code. The error occurs on this line. And the message is functions describe the world. Yoink. All right, let's see if ChatGPT can figure it out. The error you're encountering occurs because a camel cannot infer the signature for the package module when you're trying to wrap v template with sum. 
due to type ambiguities. Sure. To fix this, you can explicitly provide the module type when wrapping Functions the template. Describe the world. Ah, okay. So we just say. This will be module template s option. Oh, easy peasy. We just had to annotate our type. This must be one of the few edge cases where uh, OCaml can't do 100% uh, inference. Well, hell yeah, chat. All right, so that works pretty pretty well, right? So let's uh, get rid of this now, and we can move this back in line probably, I would imagine. Let's take that, view in there, paste that in there, delete that. Beautiful. So we have our V template. Something else. And this is actually not going to be, this is going to be node dot um path dot join and that takes an array and then um the dir will be the root dir and it'll go up a directory and then it will be uh v Actually, we don't need the dot dot now that I think about it. Yeah, no, I meant to give a status update on my work with the Spotify API. It's not that bad, actually. Also, luckily, there is an open source program you can use to set up a Spotify device on your computer without having to install Spotify. Oh, interesting. Uh, thank you for the follow, analyze code, and Hakuna123, Matata, excellent name. Appreciate both of you choosing to spend your time with us. Um, let's see here. This is actually coming together so cool, chat. So now we have this templates to extend. And our templates to extend will actually be the string map empty. And let's just say um, string map add package JSON. And then we'll say uh, we can come down here. This is going to be cool. We're going to grab these again. And we're going to bump them up above the extension. And we're going to paste them right there. And jump down to here. Templates to extend. We'll say package JSON. In fact, we can do uh, package json dot name, right? Shouldn't that have a name on it? Yeah, it should. Oh no, whoops. Type S has name. What? Oh, it doesn't have a name. Let's put a name on there. Val name will be string. Okay. And then in our, let's jump down here. Um, oh yeah, we have to go fix some stuff. This is gonna have a name. Actually, I think we just have to fix that in our functor. Where is our functor? Let name equals m dot name. Yep, and we can come back down here and this will be, that'll be good. What's this upset about? Oh no, not non-generalizable type variables. I think this is actually where uh, name has to become a function. We can get around this by saying this is a function that takes a T um, and returns a string. 
and then we'll say in make it'll take a t and it'll take uh, replace actually we'll just make that a unit that'll be a unit and this will be a unit and then this will be m dot name yeah 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 all right we'll get the name right we'll say we'll get our name and then we just pass in a uh, package json as the module although we need to surround that i think we'll say module package json and that is um we did this before where did we do this we did this right here so let's yank that and let's just go paste that in here we'll say no wait what Do we just say this is a um, template as? Yeah, chat, look at that. Tell me that's not sick. Tell me that's not stick. So now we have like this. It's not sick. Damn. Damn, Nightshade. Damn. All right, let's finish writing our uh, functor for our extensions. Templates to exchange. So this is also going to be this like unit to string. And then we'll have a run. And we'll have another um, we'll have a let's just say like type action. I don't know. And type action is going to be a function that takes a unit and returns a unit result. And then this will have a list of actions. Actions. And that'll be an action list. And we can say that could copy files, right? All right, it's 10 o'clock anyways, chat. Um, so let me add a to-do for us tomorrow morning and we'll say to-do start here on Wednesday. Actually, I might not be streaming tomorrow chat um, or it will be a short stream tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment um, at like 8.30 a.m. But uh, maybe we'll stream for like an hour. Or maybe I'll get up at six and start an hour early. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll start at six and go to eight. So we'll start here on Wednesday, think about uh, how to implement um, things like copying files, like copying files, running commands, etc. Oh, he's leaving. All right, we'll raid someone else. What's up? Uh, new window.
Let's find someone to raid. Uh, Teach is ending. Oh, we got a zig stream. That could be pretty good. Do it. Let's raid Kristoff. Oh, there's no camel stream though. It's a short stream. Uh, yeah, let's raid Kristoff. So we're gonna go watch some zig content. Yeah, he's already done. I went to look at him and he's already gone. Uh, so let's raid Kristoff. I'll be back tomorrow morning, close to 6 a.m. We're gonna start early because of my doctor's appointment. And then um, we'll be back Thursday at our normal time. Go show Kristoff some uh, OCaml love, y'all. Thank you for all the new uh, follows. Appreciate y'all. 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 Kyle said hi, J. Cole. Hi, Kyle. Do you have to click the button? Uh, yeah, I gotta get through this ad before I can raid. Uh, I think. Oh, it's a raid now? Yeah, I don't know. I'm oh, sure. I have to click raid now. <laughs> Bye, chat. <laughs>